All right, what's up, y'all? We getting ready for uh, week 16. Gotta play them Jets. Now, they need to go ahead and fix that joint up, man. Go ahead and knock it down and just rebuild right there, man. Put a new stadium right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Let us have that, man. They want to take all our teams from us. Can, 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 we get, can we get the Washington football team back? Can we get the Red Wolves back? <laughs> hey, look. I'm all for tanking. The only thing with tanking is, I mean, these are grown men. They getting paid, uh, you know, millions of dollars to do their job. So it's hard to tell them to go out there and, and don't play hard. Like, Or maybe, I mean... I don't know, man. I just think that don't wait to the end of the season and we basically don't have nothing to play for other than uh, where we going to place in the draft. That's the only thing we got left to play for. Don't wait to the end of the season and now you want to play your best football. You know what I'm saying? Like, continue to do what y'all was doing. Throw Sam Howell back out there. You know what I'm saying? Let him throw the ball 100,000 times and run around and do all that. We, we need the best draft pick we can get. You know what I'm saying? There's no point of going out there now and then all of a sudden we're going to start winning this. Nah, don't do that. But Washington being Washington, man, it, it won't surprise me if they find a way. Hey, look, the, the Jets supposed to have the uh, top-ranked defense. And you know what I'm saying? Our offense is okay. Watch me go out there and put up 40 on them or something. That'll be, yeah. Nah, but that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. But if if we did want to win the game, like, I don't know. Man, I wouldn't mind saying uh, starting Jacoby Brissett. Answer me this question. Why Jacoby Brissett never got a real chance to, to, to play? I understand that we drafted how, so of course you want you want your quarterback to be somebody you drafted and groomed and all that. That's understandable. But even in the offseason, you was hearing a lot in the practices how, you know, Joby Jacoby Brissett was having was making less mistakes, was having better uh practices than Sam Howe. Why didn't he get a real shot to play if we wanted to win? I mean, because um, when he came in the game, that offense definitely looked very efficient. And I'm just wondering if he would have started from the beginning of the season, could he have really succeeded in this B enemy offense? Could he have made B enemy offense look how B enemy wanted his offense to look? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why Brissett is not looked at as a real option to be our starting quarterback? He he was successful last year in Cleveland. He's, he, he's actually showing you that he could be a, a good quarterback in this league. I mean, to me, it's no different between him and Geno Smith. Geno Smith was a backup, wasn't he? Wasn't nobody really taking Geno Smith serious to be no starter until he got that chance to start? And he showed that, you know, he's a starter in this league. I think Jacoby Brissett is on that same type of level. If given the right opportunity, why are we not looking at Jacoby Brissett really being our quarterback? If he has a real understanding of this offense and he can run the enemy's offense like he, like the enemy wanted ran, he can make all the throws, he got an arm, he could run if he have to. And it seems as if he trusts our receivers way more than Sam Howell trusts our receivers because Jacoby throwing that ball, he 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 keying in on, on Terry McLaurin. So, you know, everybody say Terry, you know, he that dog. You know what I'm saying? I think Terry is good. I don't I never saw him as like a Justin Jefferson level receiver. But if he is that type of receiver, hey, I think Jacoby Brissett could bring the best out of Terry McLaurin. He showed it. In the one game, Terry McLaurin, in the one quarter, <laughs> the half a quarter Terry McLaurin played with Jacoby Brissett, 
Terry McLaurin ended up having the best game of his career, yards wise. Then 141 yards or 140, whatever it was, that's the most yards Terry ever had in the game since he's been in the NFL. Sam couldn't get that out of him. Why is Joe Jacoby Brissett not looked at as a real option to be our quarterback? You know, uh, I'm just wondering, man. We a key draft for rookies. When you draft for rookie, you don't know what that rookie going to do. He's unproven. Jacoby proved himself last year with Cleveland. He proved himself in the offseason with us. He proved himself in this half a quarter. I mean, I'm not giving up on Sam Howe, but, you know, at one time, instead of just throwing the quarterbacks under the bus as soon as they come in, they did used to let quarterback the same way they did with Jordan Love, the same way Aaron Rodgers got treated, the same way Brett Favre got treated. Uh, you know, you get a couple of years to, you know, be behind somebody and watch them and learn from them before you, you know what I'm saying, get thrown out there. Some quarterbacks don't need that. They could just come out and immediately be those. I think Sam Howe needs to sit back for a year and watch Jacoby Brissett. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, I don't have no, and nobody has the answers. Nobody has the answers. None of these dudes on the internet has the answers. Nobody. Our general managers don't have the answers. The, the president don't have the answers. Our coaches don't have it. Nobody has the answers. You know, it's been 30 years. So even the ones that's getting paid millions to make these decisions, they don't even have the answers. So nobody has the answers. But, you know, everybody has an opinion. And in my opinion, I mean, it's so many different ways we can go about it. But we definitely can change the we could change the face of the team just in this offseason with all the money we got and with the draft picks. We got to we got to we got to make that shit work. But, you know, if if we feel as though how is talented, why waste that pick on a quarterback? Why not let Sam Howe watch Jacoby Brissett work this offense with the enemy? I guarantee you if Jacoby Brissett played against the Jets, which I don't think going to happen. But if he did, I think that offense would look <laughs> would look like a totally different offense, man, against the Jets' number one ranked defense. I think Jacoby Brissett would have success in that offense, you know what I'm saying, against the Jets. I just don't know why he's – no nobody is really looking at him as – Hey, this could potentially be our starter. I mean, I understand he's 31, but ain't Aaron Rodgers 40? Wasn't Brady in his 40s? You know what I'm saying? That 31, he might have another five, six, seven, eight years of, 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 of being in his prime left in him. Because, you know, I think last year with Cleveland, that was some of his best ball. What a case he do be another Geno. What a case he do got another six, seven, eight years in him. You know? What's up with Jacoby Brissett? 